So, dear students, we will continue talking about uh, other determinants with specific nouns. Uh, for example, demonstrative adjectives. Demonstrative adjectives can be used to make a noun specific. For example, uh, so near and far, yeah? Singular. This, uh, plural, these, you know, or sing, uh, for far, singular, that, uh, plural, those, you know. The uh, indication, uh, distance from something. Uh, for example, look at this uh, ad. Ad at this uh, advertisement, you know, yeah? Abbreviation of advertisement. Look at this ad. What uh, a great idea. What a great idea. It means near here, yeah? What a great idea. So that is why look at this ad, not that one. If it is how we would use, we should use here uh, that yeah it it is singular so the difference between this and that you know for uh, near for near we should use this for far we should use uh, that but both uh, is in singular uh, for plural of them for near these for plural nouns yeah for uh, far we should use those in plural, those students, those teachers, those boys, those girls, yeah? Or these books, these students, these uh, teachers, and etc. etc. So can also refer to something, uh, for example, can you read that sign? Can you read that sign? The uh, print is too small for me. It means far, yeah? So that is why it was used that here. Uh, and it is, uh, the continuation of this uh, explanation can also refer to something just mentioned or about uh, the, to be mentioned, near or something mentioned much earlier or an old idea uh, from the past. It is far. So, uh, for example, we will be uh, reviewing these two grammar points these two grammar points near yeah and plural so count and uh, then count nouns about to be mentioned uh, for example do you still have those clients uh, files i gave you last month do you still have those clients files i gave you last month mentioned much earlier so we will continue again Articles with generic nouns. Sometimes uh, a noun is used to refer uh, to a whole class or group of people, places or things. This is called a generic noun, dear students. So most common type of generic nouns, plural, countable nouns and uh, uncountable nouns with no articles. For example, uh, kangaroos carry their offspring in a punch. Kangaroos without any article, yeah? Uh, because uh, it refers to a whole class of a group of animals here yeah kangaroos uh, another example it is unfortunate that uh, crime cannot always be prevented crime yeah without any article here again articles with generic nouns we will continue to talk about uh, single countable nouns with a n are also common for example a kangaroo carries its offspring in a punch. Uh, another example, an adult needs an average of seven to eight hours of sleep a night. Singular countable noun with the definite article the are much less common and sound formal and technical. For example, the kangaroo carries its offspring in a punch. An adult needs an average of seven to eight hours of sleep at night. At night. 
Uh, the with the plural noun is not used generically. It refers to a specific plural noun. The computers uh, that uh, this company donated are uh, helping public schools in the area. Specific one, yeah? Uh, Okay. We will continue. So where is the demonstration of presentation, I mean? Can you see the slide, dear students? Is it visible? Yes, it is visible. Okay, now we'll continue. Sources, yeah? So uh, we are about to finish our slide here. Uh, the sources were that we use here uh, for our presentation. They are British Council of English Teachers and as you can see, grammar sense for and the other sources uh, were used uh, for our presentation. So, dear students, if you have got any other additions, you may add or you may make up your own examples too. Any ideas? Tafar Begdil Nora, additions? Would you like to add? Google Jan, is that big? Tahir big, Dilnura. Is it understandable enough? I cannot hear you, dear students. Mm -hmm. Understandable. Okay. So, yes, it is understandable. Okay. In this case, uh, thank you for your attention, and I hope you will revise uh, these uh, uh, information about articles and the determinants, the other determinants for the next time. And uh, your home task will be make up your own examples. Yeah, with the definite and indefinite article try to show as many cases as possible please so our lesson is over dear students and the lesson is uh also over goodbye then thank you for your attention goodbye, goodbye.